They hold black babies all the time. And you still want to make money off the internet. This is a podcast for you. How does that happen? Like, I'm kind of like, why? There's someone in my apartment building, like, out to get me. Okay. You still having sex with the other one? With and she is at the sushi restaurant that we've been to a couple of times and sitting across from her <gasps> This ain't like gonna be some rah-rah motivational boost Steals over everything! Steals over everything! makeup from two guys i just found out it was two guys i thought it was like my boyfriend does my makeup one of those videos but nah man it's like it's two fellas and you know two fellas can sit around paint your face and shit and it's like it's all good i think like when i was a kid the motherfuckers would have got teased or beat up mercilessly man i think it's cool yeah. that we're so accepted of like all types of shit black shit mexican shit and motherfuckers can just be themselves without pretending to be or some other shit because them motherfuckers ain't pretending they meant that shit yeah it's like we also fucking experienced dial-up internet and this dude yeah, man. doesn't know what that's about he never got kicked off the internet because somebody called that <laughs> <laughs> i remember not having a fucking computer in my pocket you gotta get off the computer at eight because someone's gonna call the house. <laughs> I remember that shit. I remember having a home phone. What does that even mean? I don't think you've ever, have you ever held a black baby? Yeah. Who <laughs> <Wait, wait, wait, laughs> black baby you had? I hold black babies all the time. I hold black babies every day. I held a Chinese baby. Me not too. Long, not long ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did. They was handing them out. When you're talking about the <laughs> Kara, I got a mission for you. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, will choose to accept it is uh to hang this on this wall at a comfortable level for Bella and I. So I believe in you. Podcast for online marketers and entrepreneurs who aren't losers. If you're not a loser, dork, or a dweeb, and you still want to make money off the internet, this is the podcast for you. If you listen to really offensive stand up, you'll probably like this podcast. Yeah, man. If, however, you've seen a movie with Ryan Gosling in it in the last two years, it's probably not for you. If you've ever seen her old lady fall and laughed, <laughs> you'll probably like this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this what my sister's saying in the intro? I'm just throwing like, shit around, bro. Okay. All right, we got the gist of it, man. Let's move on. Some people identify as nerds. I think loser. I think we use the word loser. If you're not a dork. <laughs> not a fucking dork or a loser. I like those two. If you're not a dork or a loser, you'll like this podcast. If it's good, some of this might make it into my vlog. All right, so make it good, because you got to save the vlog today. I don't know what this shit's going to be about. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Adonix Podcast. I'm your host, Connor Murphy, and this is your co-host, Big Brandon Carter. I mean, a little background story, man. Maybe you have more experience than me, you know, way back in the day. I know you're in a relationship. Oh, man, I'm, I'm happy. Man, yeah. You said you, you was a geek, right? And you didn't have sex till you found another chick who was, like, nerdy enough to fuck you. That's true. If I found a girl, like, I I dated her for a long time because I was afraid I couldn't get any other girls because I was so nerdy. So basically the point was throughout high school and college, man, I had like just constant like girlfriend. They would really advise against having a girlfriend in college, man, because that can make it kind of boring. But my yeah. college sucked anyway, so it didn't really matter. I was dating these two girls. Mm -hmm. Let's call them Katie and Madeline. I basically just started at like the same time, right? Man, everything with Katie was pretty cool. She never really like like brought anything up. We were just like having fun and like she never like brought in that serious talk of Madeline on the other hand she started getting really suspicious when Katie started commenting on my Instagram picture I just told her like nah like don't worry about her or anything like that but then one day something happened and she's like fuck you you're a fucking asshole like everyone was right about you like I fucking hate you like just out of the blue yeah in fact this was from Madeline it was actually when I was hanging out with Katie okay and I was like what the fuck Something happened where she was absolutely sure that I was like seeing this Katie girl. She said that someone in my apartment building like told her. If that's the case, man, like what the fuck? How does that happen? Like I'm kind of like, why? There's someone in my apartment building like out to get me. The security guard has seen a lot of things, man. It would be probably bad if any girl went and talked to him. But I don't think it was the security guard. He doesn't speak much much English. So Madeline was so pissed, 
so pissed. I was like, fuck. Like, I, I just, like, ignored it for a few days. And then she calls me, and I, and I, like, I answer the phone. Like, she was just cursing me out. Didn't really give me a chance to talk. It was just super pissed. And she said that she was going to talk to Katie. A few days later, I noticed that Katie and Madeline are following each other on Instagram. <laughs> now I'm getting kind of nervous, like, fuck. On my birthday, man, day, I'm at home in Missouri. I see an Instagram story from Katie, and she is at the sushi restaurant that we've been to a couple of times, and sitting across from her. <gasps> uh oh, spaghetti! -o. In her Instagram story, it's fucking Madeline, dude. They're on a fucking like little girl the, date. The bitch is on a date. At my sushi restaurant. Yeah, like scheming against me. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And actually, moments later, I get a FaceTime from Katie. Katie's like a really, really nice, like sweet girl. Madeline, on the other hand, is like crazy. Like, like she wants to literally kill me. You thought you were gonna get away with this, taking us to the same sushi restaurant and all this stuff. <laughs> like, I'm assuming the story is with a threesome or what? I, I was hoping that that was the case. So you still having sex with the other one with Katie? Yeah. Oh, the fairy tale ended. Like it's all good. She said, "Hey, man, busy." Had to step out for some meat and shit. Came back, the live stream. I wonder if there's any sales. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna cut the numbers. The spike from the live stream. Right there is a little spike right there in sales. That's the, the, the white line. So, yeah, man. Mm -hmm.